Thanks for inviting us in. We want to begin tonight at 6 with breaking news from the Indiana State House, where lawmakers right now are considering dozens of amendments for Senate one, uh, Bill 1 that would essentially ban abortion access here in the Hoosier State, with a few exceptions. And so far, 62 amendments have been added to the bill, and it's been evolving throughout the day today, and there have been delays in the legislative process. So let's get right to Sierra Putman. She's been tracking every single change with Senate Bill 1 today, and she joins us now live down at the Indiana State House. Hey there, Sierra. Well, hi, Anne Marie. You know, not many changes to this bill, in part because lawmakers just actually went into the chambers about an hour ago, three and a half hours later than they were expected to meet up. And almost immediately once they got into the chambers, they voted not to take up the abortion bill, but two other bills. Now, at this point, SB1, which is the abortion bill, there are 62 proposed amendments to that bill. That bill right now basically bans most abortions with a few exceptions, including um, for victims of incest, rape, and for the life and health of the mother. Some of the proposed amendments would eliminate those exceptions. Others would give those victims more time to decide if they want to get an abortion. There are also proposals to put the issue on the ballot and have voters decide if abortion access should remain in Indiana or go away. Instead of taking up the abortion ban bill, first lawmakers start it with funding for women and children. They'll then take up a tax bill and finally the abortion bill. Now how tonight goes could drastically change this bill. We could have a total ban on abortions in the state, but we're just going to have to wait and see. And we're going to bring in Rich Nye here. Um, Rich, this special session actually didn't start with abortions. At first it was about taxes, right? Right. And we're still not talking about the abortion bill yet. We'll let you get back inside and see if they get to that in the next hours, perhaps. Yeah, so let's recap what's happened here in this special session, which was supposed to originally start on July 5th. It was supposed to be about economic relief, giving back Indiana taxpayers and citizens some of that $6 billion state surplus. But after Roe versus Wade was overturned by the United States Supreme Court, lawmakers decided they wanted to address abortion as well. So they took three extra weeks to do, work on legislation so they would have some idea of what they wanted to present when they came to this session. But as we have seen this week, there still seems to be great disagreement on where Indiana should land in terms of abortion legislation and new restrictions. And now Democrats are accusing Republicans of now pushing this timeline, rushing the process, and not letting all the voices be heard and getting to a new law. We didn't come down here originally to deal with uh, this such a hot button topic. And it was to provide uh, economic relief to Hoosiers, not uh, personal liberty grief to the women of the state of Indiana. And so we're looking live now at the floor of the Indiana Senate. The session started at five, three and a half hours late. The debate is not on the abortion bill, not yet. Lawmakers are debating amendments to Senate Bill 2, which provides $45 million to various programs to help women and children. The goal of Republican Senate leadership is still to have some kind of abortion bill move through second reading today, now tonight, so that it can advance to third reading and a final vote in the full Senate tomorrow. But 62 amendments could be considered tonight to that abortion bill.